second knee. I see my mustache, bitch. I see it. Anyways. All right, y'all. All right, so I just got back from the hair salon and I went to the nail salon, got my mustache waxed also. Um, but they did a pretty good job. Let me show you. Let me see if I can show you. They did their thing. They did a pretty good job. I'm not going to lie. Yes, I have my Faha on because I have a surprise. I'm not going to tell y'all yet. But anyways, basically, I just need to get used to being back in my Faha. Right now, I'm actually about to go through some photos, some some pictures, um, and decide which ones that I'm going to go upstairs and hang in the living room. And let me tell y'all, look, it's so much shit down here. Let me show y'all. It is so much shit down here. Like, this is never gonna end. This is never gonna end. But, oh my God. Just gonna have to make it do what it do. Let's see. Okay, so now for the kitchen. Basically, we still haven't done too much to the kitchen. Um, I did want to let you guys know, just in case I didn't let you know before, this material back here that you see as the backsplash is also a peel and stick material that I put up myself. Um, yes, they cost a dollar each little square. You can get that from Family Dollar anywhere. Um, I think it came out really cute. It was really plain before. Like I said, it was way too much wood, but it came out really cute. We're still planning on painting the cabinets black actually i tried to cheat um this is a black stain i tried to cheat to see if i could paint on top of the cabinet and obviously that didn't look good so what we have to do is literally take down the cabinets or not really take them down i bought a sander we could just sand them because this surface is flat so we don't have to take them down we could just leave them on and sand them and then paint the top because I cannot like I cannot deal with this wood. Today we are going to be going to the store to get some stuff. Um, the house isn't a hundred percent complete, but I'm gonna give you some ideas um, on how to like renovate old items and things like that. For example, right now what I'm about to go do is um, my couch. My couch is still the same blue couches that I had in my old house. So instead of buying like completely new couches, because these couches are only a year old, I was like, bitch, no. So what I'm going to do is, um, don't mind my nail, the bitch been working. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how my couches look with the couch covers that I bought. I bought them off Amazon. Girl, let me tell you. It's such a good idea to get these couch covers because not only does it keep your actual couch clean, but you can take them off, wash them whenever they get dirty, put fabric softener and everything on them, have it smelling so good and put them back on your couches and it's going to have your whole living room lit. So let's go do that now. So here's a quick before of how the couches look. As you can see, don't match any damn thing.
sweep now. Pick the dogs up like an infant. Got 13 bodies. Provided to you today by my massage therapist. Thank you. Gotta stay snatched while you're working. Gotta work while you're working. <laughs> All right, you guys. So here is the finished product. And I know in the camera they look like, you know, like kind of grayish black, but that's because I personally like the velvet um, couch covers. That's why they look like this, but in, in person, trust me, they look fire, but they feel really, really soft. They're really nice, really plush, like a plush little feeling, but here's how you can simply, in the most cheapest way to get new couches, and it smells so good. It smells so good in here. I love washing my couch covers at least once a week. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it's too high to be wasted. Let me just get your cursor. I go to Walmart. Did you get what? Come on, so I can go. You want the full step? Full step, baby. Hurry up, it's hot. Right. Come on, man. Yo. Just got paid. You got a Friday night. Of Twenty dollars. Uh huh. I'm serious now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Put a lock on my damn car. Put a lock you know on these nuts. All right, my beautiful people. We made it to Walmart. I am currently in the arts and crafts aisle. As you can see, everything on this shelf is very inexpensive. You can create your own essential oils, candles, soap bars, bath bombs body scrubs. I feel like this is for my creative folks <laughs> more, but I think that this is something that's very simple that, you know, anyone can dabble into and just play around with it. Just buy one one day and just see, you know, what it's really about. Um, but here's some ideas for those who didn't know that this was in Walmart. Here are the rhinestones that I bought for my dresser and my nightstands in my room. They're very inexpensive. It's about $4 for that pack of rhinestones. They come in different sizes. Um, and you can use these pretty much anywhere. So they're pill and stick, which also makes for an easy application. Um, I want to also show you guys where I got the Gorilla Glue spray adhesive from. This is the Gorilla Glue that I used for the clouds in my son's room, which I'm going to show you guys later. I purchased um, a bag of polyfill, about five cans of that Gorilla Glue. There was another type of glue that I was looking for that I also purchased, but the store ran out. But I do highly recommend the Gorilla Glue. That is the best type of glue to use when you're trying to do a project like that. Um, also you will need the Gorilla Glue tape. So let me just show you that here. 
the Gorilla Glue tape, if you do decide to put posters up on the roof before you actually put the clouds, that Gorilla Glue tape will definitely stick to your roof and you won't have any problems with it falling down. And that's just for fast removal. If you decide to move where you're renting, you can just pull the posters down and the clouds will come. All right, y'all. So I want to show y'all how I refurbished one of my old dressers. To be honest, it's really not old either. This is about a year old, but I got baby kids and they like to tear shit up. So my daughter, I had already fixed it and my daughter took it upon herself to pull all my stuff off. So I was like, now that I have to fix it again, let me go ahead and show you how I did this. So I bought these shits from Walmart. I bought these from Walmart. This is the wallpaper from Amazon. Come on, focus. Okay, see, you feel it. And I bought these little tiles. It was like maybe $15 or something like that for 50 of them. So what I did was I glued the back with this Gorilla Glue. Um, this really strong Gorilla Glue, but I glued them on individually. I laid the wallpaper down first, glued them on individually, then I put those little um, rhinestones all the way around them. So I'm about to put some more so you can see how it looks when it's finished. And also as a little accent, I also purchased these butterfly tiles and I glued this down. This is my lamp, by the way. I glued it down on my lamp and then I had like a little 3D um, butterfly and I just glued it on top to make kind of like a 3D effect. I'll show you more details when I'm done. Okay, so it's really simple to lay these out. Basically, what I do is I just pull them off. Oh, shit. Get you too. Okay, so it's really easy to um, measure them. You just pull them off. I like to pull the whole thing off. I don't like to try to guess, you know, how small the space is. Just pull off the whole line. And then with whatever is left over, you just cut off. Like, you don't want to waste this. I know it's cheap and everything, but... You don't want to waste any of them because and also if you have little bad baby kids like i do i highly recommend gluing them down so if you want to do this just one time and one time only i highly recommend gluing it on see that's it so I'm gonna do that the whole way around, filling in the spots that she messed up. And make sure you push them down really good too because every single one needs to be laying like flat. Okay, you guys, so I just finished putting the missing rhinestones on the nightstand. I've been calling it a dresser on the nightstand. Um, it took me like 10 minutes, y'all. But my nightstand, it already had like these rhinestones in the on the handles. So I was like, it just makes perfect sense. Why not to add that? And it literally matches like all of my decor. So to give you a better idea of what this used to look like, it looked like this. You see my dresser? It's the same type of, um, this is the matching set and it was completely plain like that. So I went from that to this and it looks a thousand times better. I also did my second nightstand over here the same exact thing. 
and super easy. Ay, ay, ay. This is ridiculous. You helping mommy? <gasps> Grandma about to tear stuff up back there. Trying to see. All right. Anybody need an interior decorator? Oh Get at my mama. My mama is cheap, cheap and good. This is her forte. I'm gonna let her do this part cause I ain't got time. You see that door just open by itself? Let me show y'all this. This is ridiculous. Most stuff on top, most stuff on top, most stuff. Yeah, look at this picture of my great granddad, my grandma. Linda and my great grandma. My grandma Linda was born the same day as me. Or <laughs> I was born the same day as her. Look at my granddad. You know, right? you know, they were so happy. All right, y'all. So this is what we did to the front room. Here's my dining room table. These little things you can get at little stores, little thrift shops, maybe Ross, something like that. This picture was really cheap. It was only $25 at Ross. Um, This picture wasn't cheap. This was like $300, I'm not gonna lie. And the stand was like $100. But you can still find something similar to fill up space, especially if you have a lot of space. This house has a lot of space, a lot of walls. We put this picture up here. I'm still planning on putting something. I'm thinking like a bar or something like that there. I had saw a bar like on Amazon for like $100. Um, not $100, like $180 or something. daughter's room um this is Ziri's room and Lyric's room we had to put Ziri with the oldest because she don't even sleep here to be honest she don't sleep here at all whatsoever she sleep in our room so we just actually just finally gave her a bed just in case because hopefully one day she can grow up out of that but she sleeps with Lyric um Lyric still has more stuff coming from him for his bed that I ordered on Amazon but like I said um, to do this look with the clouds, you just get polyfill, the Gorilla spray adhesive, and um, and LED lights. To do this room, the entire border of the room, we used two different um, sets of LED lights. I believe it was 50 or 100 yards each um, to achieve this look. They were cheap as hell. It was like $20 on Amazon. You can find certain things like this for a very low price. I mean, you it's okay to have the money, but you don't have to spend it all. You know, especially when you want to do a lot of things, there's no point of spending all your money um, on a lot of things, especially when they grow out of it. My kids like to change things that they like. For example, one year they're Spider-Man, the next year they Sonic. So just be mindful, keep yourself on a budget. You can still achieve this look. Look at the little Care Bears, they're so cute. <laughs> and this canopy was really cheap also. It was like maybe $20. I 
I think maybe that was about like 30 30 dollars or something like that it has the little stars that glow in the dark so when you turn all the lights off it glows in the dark but yeah this is one of the rooms all right y'all welcome to my sun room guess how much this um chair set cost how much it cost mom this chair set okay so this patio furniture was only a hundred and what 30 130 140 dollars off of amazon it's very durable very strong my kids stand up on it all the time perfect for the sunroom we got these lights from um i believe home depot we have an ac just in case it gets too hot and we have a heater just in case it gets too cold heater was only like 45 dollars we hung up well i hung up i keep saying we um the tv we have some solar powered lanterns i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with that um i haven't decided yet but those were only five dollars from like the dollar tree hey zai zai put your hand on top of that lantern oh yeah so basically the way they work they're solar powered and they um have batteries just in case Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Plug the lights back up. All right, you guys. Well, I was planning on showing you guys more of my other rooms, but I was like, you know what? Let me just wait a little bit more until everything's a little bit more finished. So I'm just going to do a three-month update. I will show you guys that later. But I do thank you for watching. Um, after this, it does get a little bit more expensive, so <laughs> there's no point of me really like showing you everything that I'm doing. Plus, Mother's Day is right around the corner, so I'm about to focus on that. So before you leave, make sure you don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification button.